Now are y'all ready to play some more Hearts of Iron 4? Welcome everyone, I am Mountain General And you came back here to see me go mad from this damn map game And today we will be going for the things that are holy, Roman and definitely an empire So hey, if you enjoyed today's video and want to see more stuff like this Don't forget to subscribe, like the video and tell me in the comments What other countries or mods do you want to see me play? So yeah, first up we are going to Germany. Now who would win? A man with one ball and a square under his nose? Or a guy with full nutsack and mighty moustache? Now if you want to also recreate the Roman Empire, don't forget to sharpen the air safety regulations. It will be a thing that will come in handy later on. And all of these German shenanigans are very easy indeed. And yeah, it's time to work towards our new beautiful state and we will bring back the Kaiser Reich you will see in a moment that we'll do some funny shenanigans with that too and look at us reviving the Kaiser Reich oops I have deleted the whole army I hope that this won't have any negative consequences for us we need to break out our Kaiser from the damnation of Netherlands oh no how did this happen never mind we need Willem the first as our new leader and well let's rebuild our nation while we can and finally we can also create our new army and also not to forget to mention we have to reinstate Prince Willem's rights of succession because like why the fuck no soon you will see we will use Hindenburg as our own death machine and not to forget we also need to modernize the succession law so women may also rule this country oh Oh shit, what the fuck, France just imploded on itself and it seems like that the fascists have won. Never seen a thing like this happen ever before when I played as Monarchist Germany. But I'm very curious how this will affect the nationalist France. Anyway, we are good friends with the British, we'll sabotage our whole fleet for this friendship. You see Britain, we should be friends, because we no longer have the big mini aggressive Kaiser. The funniest thing I have noticed is that the British have stolen the top of Chad from the French during their civil war. I don't fucking know how. And now that we have 150 political power, we can do the restoration of British titles. And what could go wrong? As yes, this is such a great idea. And we will send Princess Victoria ahead of this whole operation. And oh shit, oh fuck. The whole German royal family just explodes over the London and yeah this is how we get Kaiser in Victoria in charge and with her basically we can form the HRE which in my opinion doesn't make any sense and it would be more fitting if Austria Hungary with Otto could create HRE but whatever we don't care doesn't matter because we got our eastern territories back and yeah Poland is kind of not feeling good today you know I feel like this is also very limiting so we will leave the allies hopefully we can still manage to do something you know this all was kind of fucked by the fact that the French were fascist for so long and I couldn't do anything but now let's take back what was once ours I feel like that the German monarchist focus tree should be reworked a little bit because this is boring as fuck to be sitting here so yeah here goes nothing I guess I have surrounded the whole Maginot line but I don't know for how long this seems like this will be a very brutal war this isn't the best thing to do I see but it seems like I have went around Maginot line very successfully also we can go through Switzerland as well this wasn't the best invasion of France but it is still manageable I'm saying that as they are about to lose so yeah finally I have made the necessary war tension that will carry us around now it's time to obliterate a little Switzerland seems like that we will will just blitz through this country and not even ask about their neutrality poor little Switzerland but you know we just need all of their territories nothing personal now the UK wants us to be limited and we will say uh, go fuck yourself I'm keeping the French Navy it's now or never we need to destroy the Belgians we will be also able to destroy the United Kingdom like it's nothing and prior to my justification even Netherlands joined the Allies so more 
more territories for us. Thank you very much. The Italians want into our faction? No, thank you, Mussolini. And Papa Stalin is giving us 11 divisions. Very cursed, but I take it. So yeah, now it's just time to win this all. So yeah, I feel like we got this in the bag. So yeah, this is how you restore the Holy Roman Empire. By just killing everyone around you. Now, before the Japanese get the ability to attack us, we will get an all aggression pack with them. Hopefully it will work. And now basically you can see where we will be invading. And for now our strategy has been working. I have created a nice thick German Kaiser Reich. Also what the fuck did just happened? France has created a faction with the Italians while they are still my fucking puppet even the United Kingdom. Hello? Ah, uh, this will be a very fucked up ride. I was able to switch them back to non-aligned and they are still in a faction with UK. But anyway, we have something better to do. That is to split Czechoslovakia with the Hungarians. This is nothing personal. I need your territories to form the HRE. Please don't resist. Now finally it's time to end this Italian joke. Invasions shouldn't be that bad after all. Like you can see we are blitzing through the Balkans. And Mussolini will soon die of stroke. When he realizes how much he fucked up by guaranteeing the Austrians. Fat guy Mussolini is just taking fat L's all around the front. Not very surprising indeed. Well you can't be that surprised by it. And finally we can ceremoniously proclaim the Holy Roman Empire. Oh yes baby. We have 145 million core population. This is just amazing. And nope, we will keep the occupied states but I don't really like when uh, this shit pops up without, well, my consent. This is nothing personal Poland, I just need a better passage to the USSR. Yeah, don't resist, I'm just gonna liberate you, quote unquote. And for some reason the France is always in some fucking chaos. They finally added the French riots into Hoi 4. Finally this country is realistic. Oh yeah, what am I doing in Romania? Uh, well, I'm just making a big invasion platform to USSR. I have butchered them for no good reason, but hey look, Otto von Habsburg is here. And Hungary is my puppet. By integrated war economies, never forget to do that. You know, I'm very thankful for the Soviet support in previous wars, but now Kaiser in Victoria is going to chop off your head and shit in your neck. Yes, yeah, so that will be the fate of the Soviet Union. As you can see, there will be soon nobody in the Soviet Union, if we just can keep this nicely encircled. And now interestingly, Soviets have attacked Afghanistan, Finland and Brazil and we can invite them all into our faction because of some shenanigans that we can do with our focus tree. So yeah, this war got much easier. Now this is epic, we have now single-handedly won this whole conflict. Truly beautiful invasion. Now because of some under the table hand jobs, aka collaboration governments will be soon ending this whole charade called war with the Soviet Union. Now these are truly the best borders for HRE. The Holy Roman Empire was neither holy nor Roman nor an empire. Kids and to those people who say that we say you should face the firing squad right now. And for for the second part of this video we are going to Italy and actually I'm going for an achievement run here. I may not look like that but I really love hunting the achievements. Yes it is causing me pain and brain damage. So yeah this will be very interesting, I will also try to get this as soon as I can and well now it's time to have some fun in Ethiopia. And as you can see this is just a classical invasion of good old Abyssinia. I had to restart because because I didn't conquer Ethiopia as efficiently as I needed, but yeah, we are so back. Let's note, if you are playing as Italy, it's best to just finish them as soon as possible, because then they become a great pain in your dig hole. If you see this screen, you know that everything went well. And now for the strategy that I want to implement, we need to conquer the Austrians, so it will take 225 days, but it will be alright. And to get rid of Mussolini, we have to start playing with this national balance of power and well get him out of the office as soon as possible. Now after that little while we have offset the button
balance of power to zero and we can inform the ground council that will move the balance of the power even further away and we can say bye bye to Mr. Mussolini and simultaneously we are just going to jump into Austria because this will for sure harm the Germans we simply want to annex all the territories here uh, isn't this a beautiful Italian state and also we are ruled by people who are looking at maps the map gamers now we will nicely take Albania into our fold and yeah you kinda might see where we will try to expand next and finally it's time to have our own monarchist coup and now look who is here it's Victor Emmanuel III and yes we will have a lot of fun with him and now hopefully we can do some shenanigans with the Yugoslavians okay and now hopefully they will say no to their subjugation oh yeah this is very good now we declare war on them and Czechoslovakia and Romania will join as well but I'm not too worried about that because you know we need all of these territories for my strategy Yugoslavia nicely done and we will just annex all their territories and take their fleet now think about the Romania is that we have also created a faction with Bulgarians so we will see how well we can do here if we are able to rush into Romania it would be also nice if we could somehow encircle their whole army Romanians are nicely down and Czechoslovakia will be just a piece of cake nothing to really worry about and for this country we will just puppet them so yeah this is pretty beautiful I really like this start now it's time to turn again these two gay brothers you know you might call me crazy or unhinged but I feel like this will work and we will call our destruction in and boom we should be good and France just capitulated after five seconds I think we just need to get the Gibraltar as fast as we can and yes this will be fun and let's see if we can do one classical little invasion of United Kingdom and it seems like that we are nicely successful and you see once we arrive here nobody will be able to stop us yeah, I just have to say that they made playing Italy so fucking easy like bro what can you even do about this oh my this is just not fair at all and we have to prevent them from landing and defending their lands yeah this is so over for them I love this game ah now isn't this just beautiful Italian borders yeah I feel like this is pretty good for 1938 as Italians and as you can see it is uh, Iron Man mode and now let's get back into getting Pope to power still need to wait for that party support I banned the Democratic parties and now it's time for the power to the king for now we will just give it to the Germans and also my focus cancel because somehow my party popularity went under the 50 pain now finally we got back on track so we will do this expanding the black shirts first we will be also slowly collecting some countries so this is a lot of fun and now we can finally seek the papal support and as we are doing pope's focuses we will slowly take away from uh, king's power on the national power balance thingy and oh no we won't be able to get pio 11th as our pope but we are slowly getting there don't you worry about that and i just love how the netherlands isn't even defending their own country from invasion very nice and yeah this is the end of the run I think because the Germans declared war on Czechoslovakia while I was um, preparing for something yeah let's just see if we can save this this is just too bad ah but don't worry this is just a minor setback for us yeah you see we can go through german lines it's not the worst not the best kinda in the middle the only problem in this war is uh, our lack of fuel but hopefully other than that we can uh, make this happen also i can't forget that we want that mr pope man you know this is just like reconquering france all over again but now it's just even more fun but like you can see that the germans have fucked up by fucking with us yeah even uh, maginot line is not defended properly yeah this is just a dream invasion uh oh germans just fucked up i mean this was our whole strategy to let them in into our country so we can defeat them more easily yes 
You can be imagined line, just go around it. Or through, doesn't matter if they don't have soldiers there, it's just fighting ghosts, mostly. You know, my biggest friends are circles full of Germans. I love them so much. And yeah, as you can see, the Germans don't have anyone on this board. They are just not capable in resisting our great invasion. Yeah, this is just too good. A very nice dream invasion. Even though I didn't really want to go to war with the Germans just yet, but they forced me to kill them. This is all their fault. And now it's just time to mop up some few countries in Europe and still we are waiting for Mr. Popeman. So yeah, kind of a boring time. But hey, it's not that bad after all. We are just going to chill in Budapest for some while. Now for us, Turkey is on the table. Yeah, this shouldn't be that hard. Yes, the brave Italians are going through enemies as a knife through butter. Oh, I remember this one. I was here helping during a civil war. Now I am the conqueror of Spain. You know, for now, we will give Bessarabia to Soviet Union. We are trying to create a perfect Roman borders. You know, getting Mr. Popovich will be, well, very fucking bad because this decision is available every 365 days and I need to push this to 60%. Yeah, I may be fucked up here. I was too focused on, you know, war and conquering. And I don't know uh, if this will help somehow, but now we have Mr. Umberto, a little less bold Italian king. But still, we need to go to that 60%. We will now nicely end the existence of Switzerland. Uh, so yeah, Switzerland is a little bit harder to get into, but that won't stop us from declaring war on the Soviets. Now, this has been a very bloody war war but we are winning and it's time to call other people in you know because the fun never ends and i feel like in some areas we have caught them off guard like here in east prussia this is just too good not to use it fronts are nice and big as we like it it's actually so over for the soviets soon we'll be just having a pizza in moscow oh yeah it's never been this over for the soviets i love my big circles it reminds Reminds me of one particular Italian food. This is just too beautiful to not see. Enjoy this little moment of Italian victory. I mean, playing as Italy in uh, Iron Man mode in Battle for Bosporus is, you know, extremely easy. Yes, yeah, so this game just keeps on giving. You know, I have over 4,000 hours in Hearts of Iron 4, and I wouldn't call this campaign anything impressive because they made Italy so easy to play. I won't stop on until I kill billions. Yes, this is how we wage a war. You know, I didn't mean to puppet the Russia, but I have uh, demilitarized their whole country. That should help us in the next invasion. I will just annex them and release them when we have the Pope. And finally, after I have been sitting here for two years, I can get <sighs> Mr. Pope in charge. Finally, with his drip. Yes, the kingdom of Italy belongs to him. And this also unlocks his part of the focus tree, yes. The papacy reborn. You know, this is just beautiful sight, enjoy the view. And yes, I am just enjoying my focus tree while it lasts. Those would everyone. Those would indeed. And now I think it's finally time that we form the Roman Empire. And yes, there goes my achievement, thank you very much. And we can core a bunch of territories for example Iberia that is in the Caucasus and yeah I wanted to create the Bosporian kingdom but I need Odessa so I will first annex Ukraine and then Russia so you know we get all the achievements we can create the Bosporian kingdom and I quite don't get this because you don't even get them as puppet and they don't want to join my faction which is rather very strange what's it all mean What's the point? When we said we want Pope's achievements, we meant them all. Basically, we will just release Russia on its own and then just need a little bit more political power and justify on them. They are very suspiciously going communistic again. And yes, Operation Give Me That Fucking Achievement is happening. Yeah, this is just like outrunning a crippled kid. Honestly, this is the way you get achievements and wage war. Please 
marry somebody, kill me, this is highly not worth it. Ooh, empty Moscow, who is going to get it? The Romans, of course. Funny thing is that they never renamed Stalingrad. Oh, first resistance, but yeah, it's not nearly enough. So yeah, this is how you do it, baby. Maybe we didn't defeat Stalin here, but yeah, we have 216 divisions, comrade, if you want that. And yes, you can repay your sins by giving ships and military factories to the Pope. And well, tell me in the comments if you have enjoyed today's, well, holy and Roman, definitely an empire run of HRE and Pope's Rome. Also, tell me in the comments if you want achievement guides or any strategies you want to see. And yes, yeah, subscribe if you have stick this far. And well, I'm just gonna order a pizza. And as always, big thanks goes to my channel members, their names are in the description and on the screen right now. And a special thanks goes to Razonon and Andrea, pretender of Croatia, for being the highest channel members.